Hi all folks, this is Max from ZeroMax.com. This is the unboxing of Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um, I am sorry, but I already unboxed it because I got too excited. But I'll show you the box. It comes with that. Um, and when you open it, you'll get um, the Samsung Galaxy Tab. I'll just show you what the box looks like. And basically included is a charger, uh, AC charger, and um, earbuds, which are really nice earbuds, by the way. Samsung makes these uh, nice earbuds, which go with all Samsung um, smartphones and tablets. And you get this um, USB charger. This one is rated at, um, let me see here if I can see it. Yeah, I'll take the stickers out real quick. This one is rated at um, actually only 35, uh, 350 milliamps, which isn't that much, which means that you can charge your, unlike iPad, you can charge your Galaxy tablet 10.1, tab 10.1, um, with any you know USB charger, you don't need a special one. Um, you should be able to charge it easily with your laptop. Anyway, that's what it comes with. And it also comes with this uh, Samsung cable for connecting to the bottom of the tablet here. Um, it kind of looks like the iPod one, but I believe this is a proprietary Samsung uh, connector. And also, they sell the HDMI connector and you can connect uh, to your TV and stuff. Um, one of the things I wish Samsung did was that they put uh, they put the uh, HDMI output, micro HDMI output, right on the thing. But but it's a very sleek device. Um, as you can see, it's very thin. It's actually thinner than iPad uh, and lighter. And uh, it's a very I think they were aiming towards design rather than uh, functionality. Uh, there's a headphone jack there and. Uh, Volume buttons there, power button, um, and I got the white one. I like the white one. Um, and we got the back camera, flash, and the front camera. Uh, anyway, let me give you a little tour of my new tab. I'm so excited because this this is my actually my first 10.1 inch tablet device. Uh, I've just been holding on off on it, and uh, I think we've reached the point where. It's pretty good. This one actually runs. Uh, actually, let me let me run through some of the menus. Basically, I haven't loaded anything on here other than my Gmail. Um, let me give you a tour of this. This basically gives you uh, what wireless connection you're connected to and battery life. Um, I'll have further reviews of the battery life on this because uh, I just got it. And there's three buttons: back button. There's a home button, and then there's a like a application button. You can just oh no at the bottom. You can browse through, and uh, you know let's say you can go to camera. Um, that's the first video I took earlier of the front Hi, facing folks, camera. So I got the Galaxy Tab 10.1 just now. Anyway, this is a test of. Okay, the good front. enough. Um, that's the video. Uh, video is pretty good. The front camera is actually really good. Um, the back camera is alright, I mean you can't expect too much from a tablet device, but it's pretty decent. I'm not, I didn't buy a tablet to, uh, to take photos because I have this DSLR camera sitting in front of me which is like 100 times better. By the way, I highly recommend the Canyon 7D. Um, what I usually use it mostly is for listening to music on YouTube. I have my playlist and I, ha I listen to them like every day. Um, so let's go look at my music real quick. Oops, I was on. There we go. So let me turn it down a little bit. So I got my playlist here, and the only thing I haven't figured out is how to let the music keep playing while I browse the web. See if I go to another tab, it'll turn off. I'm sure there's a way to hack it. Uh, my first. My first thing that I'm going to do is actually root it 
maybe put a different ROM if they have one. But this is running uh, Android Honeycomb 3.1. I just got it from Best Buy. I'll have links on where you can get it. I think you have to pre-order it. I, I pre-ordered mine and it took me like two weeks to get mine. So you might be lucky if you just order one now. It, you know. So it's Android 3.1, kernel 2.6.36.3. That's pretty boring. Um, let me show you. There's these two buttons up here. These are for all your apps, right? And uh, there's also this button. You can add widgets, kind of like a phone. Um, the widgets are okay. I'm looking for a weather widget, but it doesn't come with it. But I'm, I can download off the the market uh, app shortcuts. This one has uh, 1280 by 800, I believe. Is that the resolution? Um, I have it back up here. It says here. There we go. It's a 10.1 inch uh, widescreen HD TFT display, 1280 by 800. Um, it says it includes Adobe Flash Player, but I, you actually have to go to the market and download. By the way, it's one gigahertz, two dual core processor, um, HD capture and playback, 7,000 milliamp battery. That's pretty good. Um, and it's made in Korea, printed in Korea, which is good since I'm Korean. Um, I like buying Korean stuff. Uh, I don't really like Samsung that much though. Um, I like LG better. Um, but LG phones or tablets are not really available here or they're too expensive. They're supposed to be cheaper but anyway these are the home screens. Um, and uh, we got the Google buttons here. You know we can go search my site. The the keyboard is freaking huge. I love it. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to it. The screen, uh, honestly, the screen I can see if I look really close, I can see the dots kind of. Um, I thought, but with this size screen at 1280 by 800, you're gonna get the same thing I think with all kinds of tablets. But let me give you a close up. Um, of that, can I do that on this camera? I gotta switch my lenses, I think. Okay, so you can kind of see. Oops, there's my pop up. Go sign up for my email list so I can bug you every day. Um, the viewing angle is actually pretty good, it's very good, great screen. I know Samsung is known for their screens, um, it's I think it's one of the best out there. Uh, let me see, is that focus? Okay. So I've got, uh, so far I haven't done much. I've just been playing with it. Well, I haven't even been playing with it. I just loaded my Gmail. Gmail is kind of cool. You get the the 3.0 um, stuff. So you can go browse the uh, browse your email, which is kind of cool. Um, it's, it's a pretty fast device. You're not going to be... Um, disappointed with this. The only thing I, I am disappointed is that Samsung had to use their proprietary connector which is makes it thinner I guess but I'd rather have it a little bit um, thicker with micro HDMI and um, USB ports. Um, but you should be able to do that later on down the road. Uh, where's the... It's supposed to be a micro SD slot? Is there none? Hmm. That's right. I'll have to figure out, maybe some of you have one of these and you tell me what to do. Um, other than that, it's 420. Look, 420, it's matching. You see that? It's 420. Happy uh, 420 for those of you who celebrate every day. Anyway, um, the browser, it has flash, of course. Let me give you, oh, so let me play one of these flashes, one of my videos. You know, you guys love watching my videos. Okay, let me... Oops. I've actually tried these in... Uh, let me put it in 1080p, see so if it will here. play. Uh, and I... Then let me put it on full screen. And uh, let me try to focus a little bit better here. I was in 10 this year. Uh, and... I think that's in focus now. I would have to say that they were pretty good. Um, 
the good thing about these is that uh, it comes with, with reinforced. Yeah, I think it's just 1080p is just lagging. I think it's my internet. It does the same thing on my computer too, by the way. Let me try it 720p. Maybe that will do better. It should. Hello there. Oh, okay, there you go. It's a lot better now. Ends there. Um, it's really smooth now. It's, uh, it's I think 1080p really was. I mean, it's just YouTube. The They're not streaming really that good. great right now. Uh, and the mids and triple are really good. The best part about. Oh, I'll show you the camera real quick. <clears throat> the menus and stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, we got it uh, recording. Recording. What are we recording? Let me go to settings and see resolution and bump it up to 720p HD. So now I can get whoa. What I like about this one is that like I can really see all the details. Um, let me try to take photos first here. So I'm just glad I didn't get the original Galaxy Tab, which is pretty good stuff. But but the second version is always better and this is the second Android tablet that Samsung has made that's pretty good I mean, I'm trying to do some macro here and these things are like right there yeah right there let me get like really close and uh, try it there we go they're rooting I've seen uh, the camera is really good on this because I, I've seen the Epic 4G and it has one of the better cameras, probably the best of all Android phones. Because Samsung makes digital cameras, they can't you know go wrong in that field. Um, what are all these buttons? Panorama, action shots. Oops, my video got cut up there. I was showing you my camera. Anyway, this is the front-facing camera. Um, let me see if I can focus on me. No, there's not really a focus because it's it's a small camera for the front. It's really for uh, video chatting, which is cool. It's you know settings, um, GPS tagging, metering. Overall, I like the overall experience of um, the new uh, what is this Android? Sorry, I'm <laughs> bugging out. Honeycomb 3.1. There we go. Um, and if you want to get out of these menus, hit the back button, I guess. And then, let me see. There's a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I'm, that's uh, just unboxing review of my new Galaxy 10.1. Um, don't get jealous, you can get one yourself. It's like $4.99 for this version. Um, it's, I, overall, I like it. One of the things I really like is... When I'm doing the touch, it's so nice. You know, I, I think this is Gorilla's. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really smooth, and uh, I really like the the smoothness of the glass compared to any of my phone. Actually, it feels kind of like my my Nexus S, which feels kind of good. I'm not sure if there's the same materials, but this one feels even more solid, like you know, almost glass. Or is it glass? No, but um, I really like it. And uh, I'll have more reviews. If you guys leave comments on what you want me to review, I will um, do that. Let me see if I can. Uh, well, let's let's stop here, and you guys can leave comments below, and I'll make uh, my more review videos of my new Galaxy Tab 10.1. So see y'all later. And I'll also have a uh, Asus Transformer EE Pad coming soon. So I'll have. Um, side by side uh, battle out too so stay in tune and subscribe thanks you all guys bye bye